What's up guys? I've got my 2016 RX PX300 here and today I'm going to show you how to properly flush it. Now right after this model came out, c came out with a bulletin that tells you exactly what to do on how to flush it. The way that this one's different is the old c only had one flush port on the left side and this one actually has two, one on the port and one on the starboard side. It's necessary to flush both sides because the right side actually flushes the inner cooler. That's the main thing that's different where it only went through one port last time. So I'll show you how to do it right here. For this procedure, you'll only need a couple of things. One is a quick connect for your hose, which you can find at most any hardware store. And two, of course, is a hose and a good water supply. As I mentioned, there are two flush ports for this model c -Doo. One on the left side and one on the right side, or port and starboard. Start by locating the flush port on the left hand side of the SeaDoo and take your flush adapter and go ahead and screw it into the back of the SeaDoo. Take your other end of the flush adapter and screw it into the back of the hose and slide the hose onto the end of the flush adapter that you just screwed into the SeaDoo. Also make sure you pull the SeaDoo close enough to the hose spigot to be able to turn it on and off quickly. But don't turn that water on yet. After you've got the hose hooked up, go ahead and start the engine, and immediately after starting the engine, open the water tap. The water pressure must be high enough to allow the water to come out of the right hand flushing connector. Let the water circulate through the exhaust system for approximately one minute, then close the water tap. The engine must not run more than 30 seconds without the water supply. Stopping the engine might be necessary, which is what I did here. Take the garden hose and the connector off of the left hand side and reconnect it quickly to the right hand port. If you've stopped your engine, then go ahead and start the engine, then immediately turn on the water tap. During the flushing operation on the right hand side, make sure the water pressure is high enough to allow the water to come out of the intercooler overflow fitting. Let the water circulate through the exhaust system for about one minute and then close the water tap. Remove the hose from the vehicle, then quickly rev the engine three to five times at about 5,000 RPMs. Then stop the engine. Here's a copy of the procedure published by c in 2016. All right, well, I hope this helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.